Good day, everyone. So today, this is Integral Calculus Made Easy, solved problem number one. Before ang lahat, subscribe mo na kayo sa aming channel, Mathinik at ang uh, Hit that notification bell, like the video, keep supporting us. Uh, para maintain namin kayo sa inyong mga math inquiries. So today, this is your teacher, Danila Kisman Desert. Hi. So next... So today we're gonna solve for the integral of x dx all over the square root of three minus two x minus x squared. So, so judging by our equation, here are given problem. Uh, dito, itong three natin dito parang wala siyang exact square. So what are we gonna do? Uh, natin. <laughs> Palitan natin. Yung numbers na may exact square root. Okay. So, let's say, hmm, 4 minus 1. Let's see. Kasi yung 4 minus 1, diba? Yung 4, it, it, it has an exact square root. Diba? Meron din yung 1. And kung titignan natin, 4 minus 1 is also equivalent to 3. So, hindi na-apektohan yung radicand natin. Tama. Okay, tama, diba? So, next natin is judging sa ating given dito. Uh, pwede natin gawing itong uh, perfect square trinomial. Diba? So, gagawin natin. I-parenthesis natin. Pagsama-samahin natin sila. So, ito, tinatawag natin perfect square trinomial. Diba? So, every time na meron tayong perfect square trinomial, what do we do? We factor them. So, we're gonna factor yung sa loob ng parenthesis dito. Kung factor natin to, gawin natin square of binomial, magiging siyang x plus 1 squared. Diba? So, yung given natin ngayon, na-simplify na, naging na siyang x dx all over the square root of 4 minus the square root of x plus 1. Well, given na to, no? uh, magka, by trigonometric substitution, magkakaroon na tayo ng value para sa ating a squared, which is 4. If a squared is, is equals to 4, then a is equals to 2. Diba? And meron na rin tayo value para sa ating u, which is u squared is equals to x plus 1 squared. If u squared is equals to x plus 1 squared, then u is equals to x plus 1. Tama ba? So, next move natin, let u be equivalent to a sine theta. So, gagawin natin dito, meron tayong substitution process. So, kita naman natin dito, meron ng value yung u natin, di ba? Meron na rin value yung a. So, kung isa substitute natin yan, magiging siyang x plus 1 is equals to 2 sine theta. Ngayon, kung next move natin is kukunin natin yung sine theta natin. Paano nga ba kunin yung sine theta? Napaka-simple lang. Ah, I divide mo lang both sides by 2. Kasi kita natin dito para makancel yung 2 dito. Maglalagay tayo ng 2 sa denominator. Diba? Yung gagawin natin. And magiging siyang sine theta is equals to x plus 1 all over 2. Diba? Ngayon kukunin naman natin yung value ng x natin. So, napaka simple. Ito, x plus 1 is equals to 2 sine theta. Yung gagawin lang natin dito is to transpose natin yung 1 natin dito sa kabila. So, lumang nangyayari every time na nag-transpose tayo, di ba, nagiging negative or nagiging opposite ng sign, yung sign dito sa kabila. Diba? So, magiging siya, x is equals to 2 sine theta minus 1, which is, also the dx is equals to 2 cosine theta d theta. Diba? And dahil given na dito yung sine theta natin, so we can now solve for our theta, which will be, then that is supposed to arc sine x plus 1 all over 2. And then na-solve na natin itong mga ito. Mag-drawing tayo ng right triangle. Yung right triangle natin, malagay tayo ng theta. So, we can distinguish kung opposite hypotenuse or adjacent natin. Kaya given na dito yung sine natin, di ba? Yung sine is, is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. So, ito yung opposite natin. Ito yung hypotenuse, di ba? Obvious. So, at dahil dito yung theta natin, ito yung opposite side natin, ito yung hypotenuse, and ito yung adjacent natin. So, 
Nagay natin. Ayan, yung mga value na. Ito yung value ng opposite natin. This is our opposite value. And this is our hypotenuse's value. So, dahil given na yung dalawa, yung value ng opposite at ng hypotenuse, we can now solve for the value of our adjacent with the aid of Pythagorean theorem. So, the adjacent value would be the square of 3 minus 2x minus x squared. So, next, we can now solve for the value of our cosine theta. Diba yung cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, gagawin natin, magsasubstitute lang tayo. Dali lang. Diba? So, dito, theta natin, to adjacent natin, at to yung hypotenuse natin, substitute natin, magiging siya, the square root of 3 minus 2x minus x squared all over 2. Ayan. So, dahil, ayan, given na rin nga naman yung x natin kanina, which is 2 sine theta minus 1, and given na rin yung dx natin, na-solve natin kanina, which is 2 cosine theta d theta, and given na rin yung x plus 1 natin, which, which is equivalent to 2 sine theta, we can now have our new form natin given equation. So, it, it, it would be the integral of uh, 2 sine theta minus 1 multiplied by the uh, 2 cosine theta d theta all over the square root of 4 minus 2 sine theta squared. Substitution process lang. So, nangyayari dito dahil meron nga dito squared ito at 2 sine theta natin. Gagawin natin is multiply natin itong dalawas by 2. Diba? So, 2 times 2 is equals to 4 and sine theta times sine theta is equals to 4 sine squared theta. Diba? So, so, magiging siya 4 sine squared theta. As I multiply natin siya, may squared siya kanina. Squared siya kanina. So, 2, sine, 2 sine theta squared. So, magiging siya 4 sine squared theta. So, next would be, nagawin natin is, yung factor natin yung 4 dito. Pwede siyang i-factor. Diba? So, magiging siya 4 times 1 minus sine squared theta. Ngayon kung babalikan natin, diba? Dati, 1 minus sine squared theta is also equivalent to cosine squared theta. Kung naalala nyo, nare-recall nyo, diba? So, papalitan natin yan. Magiging siyang the square root of 4 cosine squared theta. Kung may, mapapansin nyo, napapadali yung equation natin. Papadali siyang isolve. Diba? So, ginagawa lang natin dito as sinisimplify natin sila lagi. Diba? Para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, ayan, dahil nga, square root of 4 cosine squared theta, naging siyang the, the integral of 2 sine theta minus 1, multiplied by 2 cosine theta d theta, all over uh, square root of 4 cosine squared theta, magiging siya 2 sine theta minus 1, multiplied by 2 cosine theta d theta, all over 2 cosine theta. Bakit siya naging 2 cosine theta? Kasi nga may square root square root siya kanina. Diba? So, naging siyang 2 cosine theta. And by that, kung observe natin dito, uh, we can now cancel. Meron tayong pwedeng i-cancel sa numerator natin, denominator, which is 2 cosine theta. So, kung i-cancel natin yan, magiging siya 2 sine theta minus 1 p theta. Now, we can now distribute our integral to, to each term, diba? Magiging siya 2 sine, the integral of 2 sine theta d theta minus the integral of d theta. Yun, kung integrate na natin yan, magiging siya negative 2 cosine theta minus theta plus c. Now next, substitute lang natin. Ganun lang kadali. Madaling, madaling, madali. So, nang tayo negative 2 dito, cosine theta minus theta plus c. Dahil nga constant sila, di ba? So, ang gagawin natin dito, yan ang value yung cosine theta natin dito, uh, magiging siyang ganito. Substitution process ulit. Meron na rin value yung theta natin kanina, di ba? Substitute lang tayo. Okay. Ayan. Magiging siyang negative 2 with square root of 3 minus 2x minus x squared all over 2 minus arc sine x plus 1 all over 2 plus c. So, may kita natin dito, we can cancel yung 2 sa numerator and denominator natin. So, our final answer would be negative 
square root of 3 minus 2x minus x squared minus arc sine x plus 1 all over 2 plus c. That would be our final answer to our given equation or problem. Uh, again, yun lamang po. Maraming salamat. God bless you all. Uh, subscribe again sa channel namin. Mm. God bless you all. God bless us all po. Thank you again. I am Danilo Guzman III. Uh, Matinikat ang musikero. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and click that like button. And so Always support us po. Uh, para ma-aid po namin kayo lagi sa inyong mga math inquiries. Yun lamang po. Salamat!